quick update and some non-Palantir news. Uh, Databricks, Databricks announced their new marketplace for data apps, which is further confirmation that I'm on the money when it comes to the future of SaaS applications and where the industry is moving. Um, it's really exciting to see this. I'm going to try and get Foundry for Gaming ported over to this marketplace, um, but they've already got it populated with like a lot of cool apps. Uh, I'm going to play a clip from the conference, uh, from their AI summit, which I'm getting caught up on. Lots more content to drop on that soon. Uh, lots of great announcements too, enhancements to Databricks that I'll be covering. But this marketplace clip is really neat and it's exactly what I envisioned when I was thinking of like a marketplace for um, Foundry, right? For Palantir Foundry. Um, so this is really cool. I'm gonna try and see if it, maybe I can get Foundry for gaming. Um, maybe I'll get the dashboards and analytics and models transferred over there and maybe get it up in the marketplace uh, so you Databricks users out there could take a look at it and use it. But uh, really exciting stuff and take a look at this clip because this is really representative of what I feel the future of SaaS is going to look like. So that's, uh, that's data sharing. We think it's really important for maximizing the, the, the value of data. Um, and so today uh, at the conference, we're also announcing two brand new efforts that built on, da uh, on delta sharing to further expand how organizations can use their data in today's ecosystem. And these are the Databricks Marketplace for commercializing your data and Databricks Cleanrooms for private computing. So yeah, so let me just briefly explain each of these. So I'll start with Marketplace. Um, so we looked around, and um, you know, ma many cloud providers offer data marketplaces. But when we asked users about you know, these marketplaces, such as data providers, they actually, you know, they don't use them that much. And they, they said there were a couple of limitations. One limitation is that each marketplace is closed. It's for a specific cloud or a specific data warehouse or software platform, because the, the goal of these from the vendors is to get more people computing on their platform and paying them money. And so that's not nice for those vendors, but if you're a data provider and you worked hard to create a data set, it's really annoying to have to publish it to 10 different platforms just to reach all, all the users who want to use your data set. Uh, so it's a problem. And then from the user side, one of the challenges is these are just limited to publishing data sets. So you go in there, you see a table or a file, and you can pay you know, $50,000 to get it or whatever. Uh, but what are you going to do with it? What if it's not useful to you? Like all, all you get is that table, then you have to figure out how to use it. So it would be nice to share you know, more than that, to share kind of entire applications or solutions. So we wanted to rethink the concept of data marketplace. We think what people are looking for is a bit more general. It's sort of a solution marketplace. And we also thought it's really important to be open. So as a publisher, you publish stuff once, and then people can consume it uh, everywhere. And that's what we're doing with, um, with Databricks Marketplace. It's an open marketplace for data solutions that's built on delta sharing. So any client that can read delta sharing can actually access this marketplace. Um, and this has um, some really nice benefits for both providers reaching more users and publishing more complete applications, uh, and for consumers uh, who can actually get started with something that includes not just data, but code, you know, notebooks, ML models, dashboards, examples of how to use the data. And we've set it up so pretty much anything you can build on the Databricks platform, you can publish on the marketplace to give someone a complete application. So to demonstrate uh, Databricks Marketplace, I'd like to invite Zahir Avalani, our Senior Director of Engineering for the CEA, who's going to give you a demo. Oh, you're there. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Matei. I'm so excited to introduce the Databricks Marketplace, an open marketplace where all the data and AI assets are in one place to help you get to insights faster. So how does it work? Let me walk you through it from the perspective of an end consumer. Let's imagine that I'm a data analyst working on an acquisition in the retail space. I need some data on purchasing trends and I need it right away because we're in a competitive situation and we need to make a decision soon. Here in the Databricks marketplace, I can already see a variety of data products ranging from financial data products from providers like NASDAQ to healthcare, provider, healthcare products from providers like IQVIA. 
Below the featured providers, each, data, each tile represents a data product. A data product includes not just packaged data sets, but it can also include dashboards, notebooks, and even machine learning models. And I can search across all these data products right here. So let's put in retail. Let's take a look at this data product from Yipid Data, a leading market research data and insights firm. It looks like something that I can leverage, but I want to learn more. Let's take a look. In the product details page, Yipid Data has provided an overview of the data product and some potential use cases to help me learn more about the offering. I really need to speed up my understanding of this data set. So how do I do that? Yipid Data has also included a notebook with some examples of working with the data. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Here are some example visualizations and analysis of the data. This is so helpful. Before, I would have spent days trying to get these types of insights. This notebook has really helped accelerate my understanding of the data set and has given me a head start to start thinking about how this can apply to my use case. But there's more. Here on the top right, I can navigate to a live dashboard of the full data set. I'm getting to do all this exploratory analysis before I get the data. That way, I can be confident that it's what I need for my use case. And this dashboard could be really useful to my organization on an ongoing basis. Now that I'm confident that I want to use this data, let's go back to the marketplace and we'll get the data. There's a catalog telling the marketplace where to provision the data product. And I'll also get the dashboard and the notebook. And I'll get data. And in less than a second, I now have access to the data. <laughs> Behind the scenes, when I clicked on Get Data, the provider is automatically provisioning the Delta share in my workspace. And the dashboard and notebook are deployed into my workspace. And so now, the provider will also be notified that I requested access to the Delta share, and they can follow up with me as part of the evaluation. I can click on the notebook and continue on with my analysis. Even if you're not a Databricks customer, you can still go through this entire workflow. The Databricks marketplace is not just for Databricks customers. It's open to all. What this means is that if you, are a, if you register for an account, you can log in and browse and access the marketplace. And because it's powered by the Open Delta sharing protocol, you can use the tool of your choice. So for example, if you're a Power BI user, Power BI can connect directly to the data provider using Delta sharing. Consider what we just did. With the Databricks Marketplace, you can search across a variety of data products. You can use descriptions, notebooks, and dashboards to quickly evaluate if it meets your needs. And you can get the data and related assets delivered to your workspace without having to configure or build any data ingestion. Stay tuned for more details on the Databricks Marketplace later this year.